here are the five reasons why I think Netflix's three-body problem cannot match the Chinese science fiction author Liu Cixin's magnificent book series of the same name. And there's this special character in the book that I think they absolutely cannot bring to screen. Stay tuned until the end of this video to find out. Reason number one, the sheer scale of three-body problem. First of all, for those of you who don't know, The Three-Body Problem is a science fiction novel by the Chinese author Liu Cixin. It follows the story of a mild-mannered scientist who gets involved in a secret project investigating mysterious occurrences in the scientific community. As he digs deeper, he discovers a virtual reality game called Three-Body, which leads him to unravel a conspiracy involving an alien civilization and its plans for Earth. The book explores themes of physics, philosophy, existentialism, nature of reality, and the search for extraterrestrial beings. And I will stop here. You should read this book. If you like science fiction, philosophy, existential themes, you absolutely should stop whatever you're doing and read it before the series comes out. What I explained is just 0.0001% of what the book actually is. It will blow your mind. Moving on. Reason number one, the sheer scale of three-body problem. I mean, we are talking about a story that spans from the cultural revolution in China to the literal end of the universe. That's like trying to fit an entire galaxy into a teacup. While anime might do justice to its grandiosity, I'm not sure if it's possible to translate this epic saga with live actors and visual effects. Reason number two, the book's deep roots in Chinese culture. One of the things that made the book so captivating for me was its exploration of Chinese history and modernization alongside its mind-bending sci-fi themes. I am living in China, so it hit me especially hard when the story kicked off from the actual Chinese history and propelled into sci-fi madness. But for Netflix to cater to a global audience, I'm afraid that they would Hollywoodize it and make it more universally relatable. I'm afraid that what made it special in the first place would get lost. Reason number three, abstract ideas. The abstract and otherworldly ideas nestled within the pages of the three-body problem. The first book of the series is a relatively mild science fiction mystery. But things take an incredibly weird turn in the second book, The Dark Forest, and it goes to absolute insanity in the death's end. Liu Cixin's imagination takes us on a wild ride through alien landscapes, other dimensions, and even wilder concepts. Frank Herbert's Dune series looks like a timid cat compared to this book, and part of what made Three-Body Problem special is our brain's interpretation of these abstract ideas. But can CGI truly capture the infinite bounds of our imagination? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Reason number four, the sheer terror of the dark forest. I used to look up at the night sky to feel humbled, to feel calm, but all of that changed after reading the second book in the series, The Dark Forest. For a while after reading the book, I just felt sheer terror when I looked up at the night sky. I need to explain The Dark Forest here. If there are millions of planets and galaxies out there, why haven't we met any extraterrestrial civilizations yet? Despite the high likelihood of other civilizations existing, we haven't found any solid evidence of them. That's Fermi Paradox in a nutshell. I have produced a detailed video digging into Fermi Paradox. You can watch it after this video. So the dark forest theory in the second book of this series provides a possible answer to Fermi Paradox. The dark forest theory suggests that in the vastness of space, civilizations might be like animals hiding in the dark forest, staying quiet to avoid being found by potential threats. It's a way of explaining why we haven't encountered any aliens despite the high probability of their existence. The concept of predatory civilizations lurking in the cosmic shadows had my brain spinning with dread. Can Netflix replicate that bone-chilling terror? I don't think so. Reason number five, my crush? and the source of my nightmares, all wrapped in one, Sophon. Sophon is this uncanny valley-like figure that creeps into our nightmares. In the book, she's this enigmatic, surreal, mind-bending character. But from what we've seen in the trailer, I'm afraid she's been given a Hollywood makeover, indistinguishable from any cool, evil villain woman that we've seen countless times. Will she still retain that eeriness that kept me on the edge? Finally, a special mention, Singer. A chill ran down my spine when I encountered this character in the book. Singer is a member of an advanced civilization whose job is to... I will stop here. I don't want to spoil it, just in case if the series decides to feature this character. Let's wait and see as the series comes out this week. Have you read The Three-Body Problem? What's your favorite book out of the three? 
minus the dark forest. Leave yours in the comments below. As always, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe, and most importantly, press the bell icon to get notified anytime I post a new video, which I'm hoping to do fairly regularly from now on. I made a video on artificial intelligence and the potential of AI gaining sentience and what it means to humanity. I'm leaving the link here. Feel free to watch that video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.